everyone, it's Janaea, and today I just wanted to share a journal that I made for a swap. I am swapping with Mandy, who is MN Marks on Instagram, and um, for the swap I made a paper pad cover journal, and this is again using carousel, and it is one of the large two and a half inch spine with seven signatures and I did sequins on the spine and there is the front I have tons of clips on there and the back and the fabric on the spine is some fabric that I purchased from Junk Sisters Journals on Etsy and then this trim is from Rhoda who is Happy Little Corner on Instagram and I can link both of those down below. And um, here is the chunky charm I made. Mandy's favorite color is pink. So I tried to add lots and lots of pink to this. And that is what I came up with for the charm. It's hard to get it all on camera there. Um, and then I just have this to keep it closed. And all of the ruffles are made from vintage pillowcases or sheets. And there are just some various trims as well in here. And I will just flip through. So as always, I have a paper pad, co I'm sorry, <laughs> a library card here. Um, and there's the card that came with it. And then I just added a tag that I made using a cut apart and I backed it with some 110 pound cardstock. And then I thought this would be a fun front page with the little carousel top there. And there is a die cut butterfly I've added there. And then here I have um, on all the patterned paper, I have bottom pockets like this. And I've added some journaling cards throughout. And I also have some envelopes and glassine bags throughout as secondary pockets. Sorry, my son is fighting his nap right now. And then here is a little paper clip with a wire wrapped star bead. And that is just attached to a journaling card there. And here is a tag I made using a cut apart. Um, I just added some baker's twine and an eyelet and I backed it with cardstock and I stitched around the tag. And the like kind of minty color and pink colored papers are hand painted. Um, I did an acrylic wash. Um, very watered down acrylics is how I did that. And then I just have various other papers in there as well. And I've added some cut aparts from the collection throughout. Here is a little clothespin with a rose on it. And I fussy cut around the paper with the um, hot air balloons and the Ferris wheels. And those are added in some spots too. And some more journaling cards. And there's some more cut apart some journaling cards again. And then here I've added two little pockets and that each side has a couple of journaling cards. And here I've added one of the um, shaker bookmarks that I make. And um, on this one, I still have to add tickets in here, but here I have a um, just a cut apart that I've added some lace onto, or trim onto, and a cut apart that I back with cardstock made into a tag. 
and I put one of the Ferris wheels there and it has a Velcro closure and I'm going to be putting some tickets in here for her. So I found out um, I really enjoy making uh, pockets on the back of these. I just think it's a nice place to keep some stuff. So there's that. Another pocket with journaling cards. And there's some more journaling cards. And here is a glassine bag, and I've added a journaling card in each side of the glassine bags as well. And I love the way the um, acrylic wash turned out this time, how there are some spots that ended up darker. And here is another library card there. Not library card, sorry. Um, journaling card. And some more. I thought it would be fun to add those in this time. Um, just because I feel like it gives a little more journaling space. So, sorry, my dishwasher is going in the background here. Um, Here's another one of those smaller pockets, and I place some journaling cards in those. And here is, I backed this one with cardstock too, and I stitched around it before I did that. And then I added an eyelet and some pink and white baker's twine there. Another journaling card in the glassine bag. And on the glassine bag, I just added some washi. I thought it would make it um, just have some more interest and I did glue the washi down because I know it won't stay if you don't so <clears throat> some more journaling cards and yeah like I said there's cut aparts from the collection throughout as well and I thought that she could add those in her journaling and those would be nice to have for a carousel journal there another smaller pocket and this paper is um, it's called engineering paper or engineers paper and I just think it's a fun color and I like that it's graph paper on one side and um, I liked the top of this um, as well I thought it was interesting that's why I like adding that. And then also just the graph paper. Another journaling card. Oh. oh, sorry. My dog sees a cat outside. And I also cut apart the kites. So there are some kites throughout. Some more cut aparts. another journaling card and this is a smaller envelope here's another cut apart and a tassel paper clip another journaling card and um, I forgot to mention but as you can see these journals do lie completely flat which I love it makes it easier when you're journaling another journaling card and another ferris wheel and kite journaling card another one of those smaller pockets and another clothespin clip with a rose Another pocket there and on this one I've added a little again wire wrap star bead 
and I put that on a yellow paper clip. I love these. I think I need to make some for my journals. Those stars are so cute. That. And then a journaling card here. I paper clipped this. So this is, um, I made it so it can fold up to be like a tiny book that pulls out. But when I added it, it was just, it, it kind of chunked up the journal too much. So I figured she can do whatever she would like with that. But um, I thought it was fun to just add it this way. And then it doesn't add as much bulk to the journal. And then here I added my um, stitched rosette that I made into a ribbon. And here is a bulldog clip just with some vintage fabric. And there is the ribbon. And here, I can't remember if I added anything yet. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sorry, there we go. So I just added some cut aparts and then some um, fussy cut. Fussy cut Ferris wheel and a fussy cut uh, hot air balloon. And that is it. Um, again, I just love making these journals. I can't wait to make more and I will be making some more to sell on Instagram. So I will link my Instagram below as well as Mandy's. And um, yeah, if you would be interested in one, you can always contact me on Instagram. Um, but I will be sharing them here as I make them. I have a couple other projects to finish up first. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that everyone is staying safe and well, and I will see you in the next one.